Well, hi. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna continue the budget skincare series of my favorite budget products, whether they're at drugstores or Targets or Amazon or indie brands, just the stuff that gets to the action, lets you get helpful, useful ingredients at a really reasonable cost. Part of the reason why I'm making this budget-friendly series is because one of the mainstays of a really good skincare regimen is something that you can do consistently. So you can't be changing up your routine all the time and expect to get good results or even find out what products are working for you because if you're sampling this and sampling that and trying this for a few days and trying that for a few days, it doesn't give your skin cells a chance to adjust to it and it doesn't get those baby skin cells that are moving to the surface. You aren't able to see what that antioxidant serum or that retinol or that glycolic acid or or whatever product you're using if you don't use it consistently for about a month you really won't be able to see what the true the true effects of that can be for your skin so I want to focus for a little while on some budget-friendly options that you can work into just about any budget so that you can use it consistently and develop really great skin and really reap the benefits of, of some great ingredients regardless of the price. With that said guys, here's my next budget-friendly skincare favorite. So if you haven't watched my series on retinol, I will put a link down below, but did a brief overview on just how important retinol is and all the wonderful amazing things it can do because it's kind of one of those skincare superhero ingredients. And a great place to start, especially if you're more acne prone, is different. Now, this used to be a prescription product. It is the Apolline Gel. It only comes in a 0.1% over the counter. You can get different percentages from your dermatologist or your primary care provider if they think that it's suitable for your skin. Now, Adapalene or Differin is sort of a cousin to Tretinoin or all trans retinoic acid, which is the gold standard for anti-aging and skin health. Research shows that Adapalene is really great at anti-acne side of, of the, the retinoic acid family. It does a really great job with anti-acne, so helping inhibit P. acne bacteria from growing, helping thin out that sebum so that it moves more easily to the surface and then you can wash it away and it just lubricates the skin better rather than getting clogged and kind of mucked up in your pores and causing more congestion and more clogged pores and more acne. Um, it also helps reduce inflammation a little bit so that helps with pre-existing acne conditions and inflammatory acne conditions but we don't have a whole lot of research on how it works as far as anti-aging goes. Now, all trans retinoic acid or tretinoin is the gold standard for anti-aging and we know that it works really well on collagen, helps build that collagen, helps protect that collagen, helps fade dark spots. We just, we don't have the long-term research to say that adapalene works exactly the same way. With that said, there is some preliminary evidence or at least some anecdotal evidence that's, that shows that yes, long-term use of adapalene will get you some of those anti-aging benefits. It's certainly not going to happen as quickly as if you're using tretinoin, but this is about 30 bucks guys and that is what? 1.6 ounces, so better than your typical one ounce serum size. It's a gel, so it spreads really thin, it's nice concentrated, it's previously prescription strength, so good powerful ingredient for folks who are a little bit more acne prone and want some anti-aging antioxidant protection i think this is an awesome option and a great place to start because it's got very low irritation that was one of the reasons why they were able to move it to over the counter was because it had such a good safety profile now there's a lot of politics that goes into deciding if something that was prescription strength could be sold over the counter. But one of the things that the FDA will look at is safety profile. And Adapalene has significantly lower irritation than Retin-A or Tretinoin. So it makes it a great option to start out if you're if you're just trying to figure out if, if retinols are your thing and want to jump in a little bit more head first than, than just a regular old over-the-counter retinol, which there's nothing wrong with that, but if you want to try a little more aggressive or if you really do have acne as one of your primary concerns, different, you can't beat it. This is 30 bucks for 
a prescription strength ounce and a half or better product. Uh, it just, it works amazing. All right, so it is a gel. There we go. That's way too much, but there we go. Um, but you can see very, very lightweight gel. That's gonna go all over the backs of my hands and my arms. Um, there we go. So waste not, want not. Help with the anti-aging of the hands. Actually, these hands over the years with working in cosmetics for a number of years and working in the industry for long enough, these demo hands have gotten some serious anti-aging, so I expect no age spots from them. But there you go. It rubs in pretty good. Um, doesn't leave a sheen. One of the things that I have heard from folks, I haven't seen it myself, and I do dabble in makeup and tinted moisturizers, pretty lightweight. It can pill a little bit, and pilling is that when it kind of balls up and falls off or makes your makeup flake off. So you may, you may need to adjust what kind of makeup you're using or how you apply it, or just use this at nighttime. Now, Adapalene is different from most other vitamin A products in that it is sun safe because it's micro encapsulated. So this one you can use during the day. I wouldn't really suggest it, but it is a, a versatile formula. So choose once a day to use it. And if daytime is your best bet, figure out how to make it work with makeup or just wear it with a good sun protection. I know every single product I talk about this, but please make sure you're using a sun protection, especially if you're using different. Um, this is a, a retinoid, so it is helping to thin out the surface layers of skin that are mostly dead skin cells and kind of blah. It does, however, thicken the important part of your skin, which is where um, the vasculature and the musculature and, and um, all the nutrients and blood vessels and all of that strength of your skin, all of that layer of your skin gets thicker with retinoid use. So when people say that retinoids will thin out your skin, they are right. It'll thin out the surface level, which you don't really need a whole lot of, but it does strengthen and thicken that stronger, healthy part of your skin that contributes to your overall look of your skin and the complex matrix of collagen and, and everything that gives it that bounce and youthfulness. So make sure you're wearing sunscreen because it is a retinoid, but for folks who are oily or acne prone, I think this is an amazing product and you can't beat the price. All right, guys. So that was the second in my budget friendly skincare favorites. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, if you like this shorter format, I'm certainly happy to do it. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna to try to keep these shorter and just sort of concentrated information. Who's it good for? What does it do? If you prefer a longer video or you just kind of want to mix them, I love a good half hour video. I have watched way too many of those on YouTube and I can definitely ramble on for that long if it's not clear. So let me know what you guys would prefer as far as video formats in the down below and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.